What's up everyone, Morty Croson here from the Performance Side of California and we're doing a, another breakdown here for you today on Matt Centrowitz and Matt Centrowitz is the current champion of the 1500 meters. He won it in uh, Rio in 2016 and we want to do a breakdown because he's actually an alumni of the District Track Club who is putting on the event in Maryland, the free event in, in Maryland. Um, it's Under Armour event, it's for any track and field uh, middle distance coaches or athletes that are in the area or if you can get there again it's a free event there's going to be a lot of great speakers a lot of great information talking about mindset talking about being olympian talking about the mechanics in and being able to understand the middle distance and so um, just wanted to do, do this breakdown for the people that are affiliated with the district track club they asked me to do this so i'm going to do this for them um, in, in promotion of the event um, and there'll be a link in the, in the description below too, if you guys want to sign up for that. So, you know, what I did here is, and, and we'll go a little bit into the mechanics, uh, but in, in going into the mechanics, what I wanted to do is really get a, a better idea of how many steps each athlete's going in, in each lap. And we know that for the 1500, it's, it's, a uh, 300 meters and then it's three, 400 meters. And how they did that is, or their step counts for that is 159. In this and they did it in 48.8 seconds and then it went 214 in the second lap and that took about 108 and then in this one it took 198 and it was about 103 and then the last one was 190 and it was about 50 seconds. And this was um, mostly focused on Matt in the running. I mean, we had to, I had to go with the camera, so sometimes the camera is not concentrated on Matt. And so that make, it makes it a little bit more difficult to see um, and break it all down. But the idea was to make it so we can get an understanding of one, you know, how, how much overall distance are they taking up per uh, step, which it's, it's about, you know, if we, if we break it all down, it, it's a little bit, especially for, for like these ones here, um the the three and the four you know they're taking about two meters per step right and being able to get to that that 400 meter mark and then they're also in, in terms of the overall time they're get taken about you know if we if we break it down um you know for if they were to do 200 um, you know, this would be the better one to probably break it all down with. If they're, gonna, if they're doing 200 steps in a minute, you know, then, then they're going to be taking about four steps per second. Um, it's obviously a little bit higher. Oops. And here it's probably closer to like 4.5 steps per second, which is really a staggering number when you think about it and, and how fast their legs are actually moving in order to, to make this work. So, um, you know, they really have to be, be moving their feet very, very fast in order to, you know, reach this, this mark and, um, uh, being able to, to run as fast as they do. So now going into, let's actually go into the, to the actual, like how they get their turnover. We'll go to, towards the end where you could really see Matt separate from everybody and, and calculate how that turnover is looking. So we can go to the right leg and, and see where the right leg touching. And, and what you, stands out to me with, with Matt is that he does a really good job of, of as he's going through, he, he does kind of tilt his shoulder side to side as he's going. And that helps him in, in absorbing his overall force and then generating force out, out of the next step. So, you know, sometimes people will be a little bit, I know as sprinters, they're going to be very, very stable on their shoulders. They don't want to drop too much down. Um, and their shoulders, you know, they want to keep their shoulders fairly level so everything's going this way. But in terms of endurance, um, in the middle distance, now you're going to be able to have to um, drop a little bit side to side for the a better ability to absorb and then push off within the feet and, and using your overall body's efficiency to, to maximize each one of your steps. So, you know, working on that's going to be super, super important in order to be successful there. Um, the next big thing is going to be, you know, the actual stride. And so you, you could see with the right foot, he touches the ground at 2531. So I like to do this just so then you guys know that I'm, you know, just calculating it right on the spot so you know exactly where, where we're at with, with, the, uh, with the numbers. And so we got 25, we got 31. That's about um, over 50, 56. Um, 0.56 in his overall turnover. And then this one is a little bit less, uh, 45, 48, 
0.48. So on his left, 48. On his right, 56. And so he's really trying to open up here. This is a different part of the race, I'm sure, during the actual race. Um, you know, the, the right one was probably a little bit shorter, but when he gets really opened up, it probably ends up um, not being as as much. And so if we look at how much time, you know, the, the overall um, steps are taking, they're all, you know, about a half a second here. And so that's why he's able to get four steps, you know, about four steps per, per second, especially as they're, they're really starting to open up um, with their stride. So I wanted to be able to show you guys how the actual numbers end up coming to be and, and maximizing their turnover and, and then also giving you some, some real um, understanding of you know what that turnover looks like so 0.5 here at the end obviously this is at the, the when their legs are very fatigued there's a lot of active lactic acid in their their legs and so their turnover is a little bit slower but their, their contact time is really really good especially on the left side he's still maintaining a 0.08 uh, contact time which you know is, is elite um, but then a lot of times what we're seeing with sprinters is closer to like a 3.5 to 0.38 in terms of how fast their steps are or here it's going to be a little bit longer, but they're going to be taking up much more overall distance because of, um, you, you know, that it's maximizing efficiency. So, you know, the big thing that we want to be doing in the, the breakdown is just comparing what is a middle distance runner going to do compared to what a, um, what a sprinter is going to be doing, a short distance runner is going to be doing. So the, the comparison is really a great, great way to, to, to see, you know, in, in these numbers, um, what the, there's some, the similarities are between short distance and uh, what some of the different stars within middle distance. And I also think getting some information on, you know, how many steps that are taken per 100 meters, how much time it is, and, and breaking up the splits is also an interesting way of looking at it and, and being able to get some helpful information to measure yourself as well. So, um, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you soon.